Let's try it again. But you felt it though. Exactly. That, that was, I mean, all his force is going into me because his counterbalance right, is being thrown that way. That means he has a lot of force, a lot of confidence to come in with that shot because when he lands, he's going to land just right anyways. Right? Um, you might, most people might say, you're not supposed to hop up like that. Well, that's why you evade first. That's why you miss the wreck them first. All right, that's why you move first before they even throw the shot. Um, move around with your Spartan uh, shield, all right? All right, when, you, when you're pivoting around, you still, you can still see your opponent, but you're pivoting around to whatever it is that you need to move around with that uh, shield on there, all right? And that hop is what's gonna help them bring all that, all that, uh, uh, um, uh, the power of, uh, not inertia, but uh, gravity, all right? Because he's going, not really up, you see how much I got off the ground, all right? All right, and now I'm gonna throw the actual punch, all right? And with the right one, all right, so you're stepping over, you're dipping under, all right, and then you're coming over with that overhand right, all right, so uh, let's see, stand there, right there, like that, this way, so I'm going to do it to you, all right, bring the hook, just like that, so see, now I'm right here, right here, I'm still pointing properly, I can uh, um, uh, pro jab again, at, back out, and I'm still positioned properly, he still has to do all kinds of stuff to move over before I can take advantage of him. All right, so once again, let's do that one slow. Um, so, let's see, so, oh yeah, so to the left, uh, to your right. All right, so you step over, bam, then flip it over with that punch. All right, right over this way. Don't forget to bow and arrow this one. I mean, you cover that shot when, you, when this one's wide open. Yeah, exactly. Uh, throw that elbow back. Uh, it's an up-down type of motion, overhand right. Oh no, not even overhand right, overhand hook right. Are you hooking? Exactly, like that. Because remember, you're going to fit through this pocket here. I might have the shoulder up. I might just have it up. So, you're going to fit through this pocket right there. Exactly. Alright, let's show you on this side. Alright, so, he wants to, in case I have my shoulder up high, so he needs to come over this way. That's why it needs to be not really necessary an overhand right. An overhand right is a little too straight. Alright, it needs to be an overhand hook because it needs to fit into this little pocket here. Go ahead. Boom, see how it fit right there perfect in this pocket, all right? So, and like I said, he didn't get truly off the ground. Just because his head is moving up and down big time, doesn't mean he's getting off the ground big time, all right? Uh, let's see. So once again, let's go slow now. Now you can mirror him, all right? Uh, orthodox against orthodox, slip into the opposite side, and yes, you can do that. And it's, it's even better because you're going way away from uh, both power sides, all right? So first is a step as you evade over, and then... Basically lunge in with the skip as you position your whole body over. All right, once again, no matter what I do, look at that. So see, I was aiming at where at least I saw, I saw his head. I did a jab, a typical jab straight type of combination. He slipped the first one. Before I even could throw the second one, he was already punching me. Before I even finished uh, extending it out. And this, that was in slow motion. Uh, not technically fully slow motion, but I'm saying he wasn't even trying hard. So imagine if it's the real rhythm of battle. All right, it's going to confuse the hell of your opponent, and you're going to get there right away really fast. All right, so one last time. So, you see, before I'm even done throwing it out, he was already hitting me dead open in the chin. All right, even if it's only a jab. Again, I did a double jab and completely missed both of them. All right, because he slipped the first one and swayed, swayed away uh, to position himself for a hook. Uh, try it again on this side. Jab, jab. All right, just like that. All right. Um, and yes, you can do it with any other punch. All right, so now you know that one. Now we'll do softball real quick. All right, so uh, you say, but he's going to be orthodox still. All right, um, same thing. So it's the same exact thing. Obviously, you want to use one, one more than the other. All right, most likely, you're going to want to use... Even though it's more difficult, the one that goes towards the right, especially against softball. All right, if it was the other way around, all right, you, even though it might not seem right because it's easier for an orthodox to do it, you're going to go towards the right. Do the right one, even though he's going towards my power. But obviously, if he knows what he's doing, using his uh, Spartan shield right there, all this is ready to block anything that might, that might come from this angle. And this is difficult for me to punch here. All right, I'm going to want to move. By that time, he's already swinging with an up-down combination. Boom. All right. Um, so, anyhow, southpaw, same thing, so you first do the, the one on the right, so this is still the same, you just step over, boom, hop over, exactly, uh, you can do whatever you want, you can uh, uh, shove, uh, probe jab, uh, uh, yeah, probe jab, to shove me out of position, try to get back position, and that's where you come with a huge hand making too, 
Exactly, just like that. So show them from this angle, that same one with the pro jab. Right, the pro jab is the one where it's not really necessary to try to hit, try to do any damage. Either way, you should never try to do damage with the jab. All right, so it's a pro jab because he's just gauging his uh, distance from me, um, and he's kind of like using it to shove me in a way but keep me at bay. So he's not just trying to shove me away from me. He's not trying to create too much distance. He wants to create distance enough to position himself for a nice uh, full power shot. All right. If he pushes me too far, all right, he might overpower me and I might stumble and move away. And even though I'm off balance, I might be too far for him to take advantage of that, to capitalize on it. So he doesn't want to overdo it. So here we go. So see that little tap, that side jab. So just do the jab over and over. All right, so the jab, like that. So see, he's pushing away. And I don't know if you see me kind of shaking because I was kind of uh, 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 adjusting myself to take that little force that he threw me because he went, he threw me that way. So I had to kind of go back again. That's why I swayed it one. One more time, the same exact thing. All right. Even if I come, he's blocked. All right, and he's going to beat me to the punch anyways. I'm opening myself wide open for him. All right, go on this side. Uh, hop over. Boom. So if I were to do the hook here, I'm opening myself wide open from. Even if he's late, don't, uh, don't throw the shot. Uh, uh, Bonero, you, you were stuck with the Bonero because you would have hit probed jab with this one. So even if I try to hit, uh, he's, I'm gonna block completely. He's gonna block completely, and he's ready to just quick, do a quick little straight right there to maybe go back and then boom, hit me with the hook or whatever. All right. So now we go with the opposite side uh, with the softball. So same thing. Everything's the same. Um, and yes, believe it or not, it's okay to do it this way to do it with the southpaw. All right, most most southpaws shoot way, uh, great towards the right. All right, so there, towards the right with that uh, overhand right uh, left or with that straight left. They shoot towards the left because it's a natural motion. Most of the times they're not gonna want to do that. Again, I'm opening myself up for this angle to come in. All right, so that's why, believe it or not, it's okay to go into your opponent's power if you time it properly. All right, so here we go. So same thing as, a, as a orthodox. All right, and then um, so if I was to, uh, all you're gonna do is Spartan shove in with that foot forward that way. All right, so you're gonna uh, meaning uh, let's see. So get soft balls. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, but you're not gonna go outside. You're actually gonna come in a little bit on this one because you're gonna slip this one. So bring that shoulder. Now bring that shoulder. Yeah, like that, and then and that's when you skip over. Sorry, I meant to. Yeah. <laughs> I said the wrong way. Yeah, okay. So anyhow, so um, let's go this way. So what he's going to do is Spartan shove in, basically throw his shoulder into my chest, all right, to slip that straight, all right. He got me out of distance right there. He created some distance. Now he's going to skip over, all right, and there's no way I can hit any power there at all. And he's kind of pushing himself away anyways, even if I were to throw anything away, all right. Uh, so let's do it again right here. So... Then, boom, all right, that is, and he's taking, he's disrupting my, my center of gravity, all right, so I, instead of blocking, I got to worry about stance first, getting back into position of power, and then, uh, you know, acknowledging the stance, and then positioning and all that good stuff, all right, go so this way, all right, uh, actually, this way, this drilling, all right, so what it was is, uh, they can't see the step forward and now, yeah, sideways, so, so look at the distance, throw your, your jab at me, all right, he can, he can uh, throw it right. There you go. He can hit me from there, from that distance. All right. He just needs to stay, step a little bit forward. Do it again. All right. I can go back to back to work. I almost can. For one, he's taller than me, so that's probably the reason why he can just easily step. Even if I step, I'm nowhere near him still. All right. And that's probably what it is. It's his reach. But the point is, is that um, uh, from right there, from this area, uh, he's gonna step in with literally step in. All right, uh, inside of my uh, stance on this part, this is one of the only times it's okay to be on the inside of, especially of a southpaw, all right, especially if you're 